thanks. Yeah, you get to see me here on a on Wednesday instead of Thursday, and I am here to talk about the California State Fair Cannabis Awards. Now, this time my story is coming from Cannabis Business Time. Shout out to those guys. Um, and I'm actually really excited to share this story because I actually was a judge in the pre-roll category for the state fair. Very exciting. Um, so here we go. And this is a, uh, this actually comes from a press release released by Embark. So California State Fair Cannabis Awards announced its gold and silver medal winners. Judges awarded more than a hundred medals across nine categories and 44 subcategories, including outdoor flower, mixed light flower, pre-rolls, concentrates, cartridges, edibles, beverages, and wellness products going off script. This was the first time that the state fair actually expanded their cannabis offerings. Initially, it was only flower. This year, we had the whole suite of products, which I thought was pretty cool. So gold medal winners are now vying for nine coveted Best of California Golden Bear trophies, likened to the new Michelin Guide of Cannabis Products. With more than 500 entries in 2024, double that of 23, the California State Fair Cannabis Awards is the largest sanctioned cannabis competition in the world. For 170 years, the California State Fair has awarded farmers from California's traditional agriculture industries for their best-in-class bounty. In response to California voters' overwhelming support for cannabis legalization and in recognition of the tremendous role cannabis plays as one of the state's top-ranking crops by value, the California State Fair has included cannabis in these prestigious awards for the last three years. And I'm going to skip some of these quotes just to for time. And while the California State Fair has hosted an educational exhibit and awards show for cannabis since 2022, this year's cannabis exhibition has been further expanded into an immersive experience with additional competition categories and the inclusion of licensed on-site cannabis sales and consumption hosted by by Embark's Sacramento Dispensary, allowing patrons to try award-winning products from many of California's finest craft brands. This year's flower entries underwent rigorous empirical quality science-based testing through respected cannabis testing laboratory SC labs. New this year is the introduction of a judging panel who also reviewed submissions using a standardized 100-point sommelier level evaluation scale developed by Buddhist, the world's first social review platform for cannabis products, to objectively assess its attributes such as aroma, flavor, appearance, and effect. The nine Golden Bear trophies will be announced July 27th at a private Oscar-style award show intended to recognize and celebrate leaders within the cannabis community. And guess what? I will be emceeing the awards, which is really, really exciting. Um, so I guess now it's just telling me that there's a website. So if you want to go learn more, you can go to California or CA State Fair Cannabis Awards.com. If you want to view the medal winners, check it out. You can see all of them. There's lots and lots of gold and silver winners uh, across the different categories. The Golden Bear winners are going to be the best of each category overall. I'm really excited to announce the winners. The pre roll competition was very interesting to say the least. There were definitely some clear standouts. Um, and I'm really excited to see cannabis alongside all of California's other agricultural offerings and have it have such a mainstream space at the state fair. As someone who grew up in the Midwest, the state fair literally is the place to be, and having cannabis there is very, very exciting and I think the rest of the nation will be watching California as these awards play out. I'm very interested in hearing what the rest of you guys have to say. If you checked out the winners list, if you have any opinions there, I would love to hear them. Man, the state fair. And and this Did is the first year. This is the first year they're giving out the Golden Bear Awards, right, Rochelle? Um, that I that I'm not sure about, but it's the first year that they're basically usually what it was before was they were judging the flower solely based on the testing results. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the top terps each different category. Um, now 
the entries that had the top terps and top cannabinoid profiles, those ones were sent to the budists to review and assess. And then the golden bear winners will be pulled from those rankings. For the other categories, like pre-rolls, edibles, concentrates, it was more based on the overall product assessment itself, aside from just the testing. The flower is really where the testing came into, into effect. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm curious to see where they're going to place the consumption and uh, the commercial space for this because they sell um, wine all over the place. You know, and nobody restricts kids walking through the areas where you can buy wine. I mean, they want you to go in there and sit down at the tables, but kids walk all around it. And with the hysteria over let's protect the kids, I'm curious to see where they put this. Because as you know, it's been over 100 degrees here in Sacramento for like two weeks straight. And it's hotter than hillbilly hell. And where they put you is, you, know, you could be the redheaded stepchild stuck out by the race course where it's really hot and you got to walk a quarter mile to go get your sweet roll and chocolate. So I'm going to be curious about that. And it also... It's a it's a big bell being rung that this is being normalized now. Stop the nonsense. I wish the, the government out here wasn't overtaxing and overregulating, making this so hard to succeed. But this is an increment towards a state fair in the largest state in in the United States, with the fourth or fifth largest economy in the world, has put cannabis sale and consumption within an official government place like this, the state fair. I hope others follow after this because people like smoking weed. Let's, let's stop playing around with this. They want to do it. They'd like to go smoke a joint, have a glass of wine, go eat a sweet roll, have whatever out there, bad heart foods on the on the um, mile of food mm -hmm. and enjoy the fair and not risk going to jail. I'm hearing the sweet rolls are good. Yeah. I, I, mean here, I want to know because I'm going, I'm going to go at least once to the fair and if there's going to be a special event, I'll try to make it for that, too. So you can keep me posted when you're going to be around here. We know we're going to have to smoke it. Yeah, I will be. At at us. Sorry, Rochelle. Go ahead. Yeah, that's going to be my favorite, too, honestly, because I've noticed now at other events um, when they add the cannabis component that they keep us hidden, right, uh, because of compliance. And so I, I am hopeful that we will be in a you know, it's visible and high traffic area, but I'm mildly skeptical. Um, at Cali Roots, um, we were kind of hidden behind this wall. And so nobody really knew we were there, but there was another area where you were more than welcome to consume out in the open. I think it's the sales that throws the wrench and everything. So, but I mean, to Dale's point, it's really exciting to have it no matter what. And it's just a step in the right direction. Um, I also would like to try a sweet roll. I will be on site doing programming in the cannabis area um, pretty much every day, the second half of the fair from July 20th. Uh, through the 27th through the awards. So let's offline, Dale. I would love for you to come through while I'm there. Rochelle, I kind of want to know what, what's the judging process like? Do you know as far as how that's going for you guys? Yeah, actually, it was pretty well organized. Um, from what I could tell, this, the... Um, the submission window ended and we had the judge kits pretty quickly after that. That's right. Um, for the pre-rolls, you know, we, we, um, we rated them on the buddhist scale, um, looking at the packaging, the branding, you know, the aroma, the way it burned. It, there were a lot of very interesting entries, I have to say, but the metal winners were clear standouts from the rest. You know, we would write up the reviews and you can actually see a lot of the reviews now on the Buddhist app or at Buddhist.com. So I'd recommend everyone go and check those out. Um, but for the pre-roll team, I have to say that, you know, we were all pretty aligned on who we thought should win. There was a little bit of debate about some of the silver medal winners, but we all, when it came to the gold, like there was, it, it was standout for sure. That's awesome. You definitely are very qualified. I've smoked plenty of weed with you, and you're definitely qualified to judge. Fair. The pre-roll category is hard, though. Like, I would argue that it's one of the hardest categories to judge because, I mean, let's be real, most pre-rolls are boof, so you have that. And then you kind of do have to smoke, you know, a significant amount of the pre-roll, if not the whole thing, to really know for sure. But some of them I would light it, and I'd be like, mm, I don't know about this. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
For dry hit alone, right? You should never have dry hit. Rochelle, uh, what is your favorite uh, strain to uh, prepare for a a big Lego challenge in front of you? Well, that's a really great question, Rico. Thanks for asking that. Um, I would have to say something that's more focused, right, and energizing. Um, but as I mentioned on the show before, I've been smoking a lot more high CBD strains lately. Um, so I guess I'll just go back to that sour jet fuel or sapphire soup from Moon Maid, and that'll get me in the right space. Interesting. Interesting. Speaking of high quality stuff, I think I think Millie has a, a picture to uh to to throw up real quick and uh this <laughs> this is this this is this is this is this is the best weed in the world with some of the best hash in the world back prior 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 to legalization when we could still smoke in the hallway of happiness the hallway of ha- oh, yes. the hallway of happiness. If you know, you know. Yeah, if you know, you know. It was an amazing, amazing place. One of Stephanie Landa's favorite places. So shout out, Stephanie. Yes, and shout out. This picture is actually uh, uh, f- from me, but reposted today by uh, Freedom Grow. So if you don't know about Freedom Grow, make sure you check them out. They put shout out to they, yeah. They put money on the books of nonviolent cannabis offenders who are serving life in uh, federal prison. So we definitely support uh, Freedom Grow uh, dot org and. Uh, much much love to them and uh and rochelle tell them real quick where where people can get tickets to this to this event is this is this event a private event or is this is this like just like you're buying tickets from the state fair probably get them from yara kubrin the awards show is a private uh, invite only ceremony however any consumer uh, and visitor to the state fair over the age of 21 is welcome to come through to the cannabis consumption area they're going to be open every day of the fair except for i believe the 12th which is the first day and the 19th every other day though we encourage folks to uh to come down check out and bark's gonna have a lot of different brands there there's going to be programming on the stage um, from lots and lots of different people there's going to be performances Mendo Dope's going to perform one night, so everyone should should come through. And the price of admission uh, to the fair will get you into the cannabis area. Awesome. Interesting. Very, very, very cool. 